Welcome to the first iteration of our We Show Up student recognition event. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here today. My name is Will King, and uh, I will be your host for the evening. Um, I want to talk a little bit just about our slogan, We Show Up. It's something that stuck with us ever since this summer. And We Show Up means a lot of different things to a lot of people. It starts with self. And for me, it was a personal commitment. Like, I just made up in my mind that that's what I'm going to do. Um, it's really infectious because when people see you doing that, then they start showing up as well. And we talk a lot um, about how adults show up for students. But I don't know if we do enough or have enough conversations about how sometimes these students show up for us. And that's what tonight is about. Tonight is acknowledging and recognize students. And these were nominations from different people in this room, how they show up in space and how proud we are to see them show up. And it's just to encourage them to keep moving in that same way. All right. Another round of applause for these beautiful you. Uh, just real quick, the Office of African American Male Achievement, uh, I like to say that we're an octopus with a lot of arms, and here are all the arms that are attached to our body. Uh, Keymakers of Seattle, Manhood Development Program, Whole Mentoring, Black Student Union, Early Literacy Collaborative, Secondary Math Collaborative, Family Support, Rising Sons Extended, and Student Leadership Council. All right? And we could talk about that later. Before we get started, um, I want to introduce my team. But before I do that, we have the superintendent in the building. I want to allow him the opportunity to come up and just, you know, give some words of encouragement, whatever you want to do. You get. <laughs> Two minutes. I'm the superintendent. I'll take, tw I'll take 20. But uh, you all know the five B's, right? Be brief, brother, be brief. That's what I will be. Uh, thank you all for showing up. Uh, we can't make these opportunities uh, robust. We can't actualize with our students without you all being here available, showing up for our students. As a superintendent, I get the opportunity to be led by Will and Mia and all the rest of the staff here. I serve them. We don't, it, it's a reverse pyramid. So the students are actually on the top, and the staff, and then me. And so I'm at the bottom. I'm trying to hold all of you all up so we can do that great work that you all do every single day. Um, if you're here because you are an adult that pours into students, just raise your hand. Fantastic. And we do, and we, and it's thankless. You all don't get enough kudos for the work that you do on a daily basis. I know this. Some of you all pay, pay a double tax. And that double tax is because most of you are African American, you have to pay that black tax in terms of supporting students and doing your job. And that's, that's something that we do admirably. We take it on as a badge of honor. It's, it's, an, it's integrity. It's about our work. But I just want to recognize that. We don't, we don't pay you that extra piece on your, on your paycheck. But you all do that because you know it's necessary. As superintendent, my job is to create the conditions for our students to thrive. And I just want to thank you all adults for showing up in the lives of these students on a regular basis. So I'm beyond two minutes, but Will, I'm going to give you the mic back. Uh, but I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And to the young kings and to you students, you all, this is that opportunity. Trayvon's here. He's, he's, he's the embodiment of what we want. We got him on the right track. We loved him along the way. Now he's at the University of Washington doing his thing, right? And he's the first of many. Now that we know how to do this, we've been on this road. We've been on this journey since, I think, 2015. 2015 is when we had the African American Male Think Tank. Then we had the African American Male Advisory Committee. Then we had the strategic plan that centered African American males. Then we had, the, we had AAMA. All this stuff came together, and we have, again, Trayvon as a, as a symbol and the embodiment of what we're trying to do. So we, got, we need to make sure that this pathway is clear and it's consistent and predictable, and we move things out of the way so that these young men can thrive. That's what this is all about. It's not, it's not 
it's not rocket science. It's around we pour in, we pay those taxes, we do what we have to do so that we can have more Trayvons. So all the, all the students in here, raise your hand. Trayvon, this is your responsibility now. You know what I'm saying? We pay it forward. Uh, and you students, I need you to look at these adults around you, get their information, get their commitment that they're gonna support you on this pathway. So raise your hand again, students. Hold your hand up. N n put, it, put your hand up. Don't you, do the, don't you all do a fist? Do a fist in the air. Okay, hold your hand up there. I know you can do it for a little while. So look at the adults at your table. And if you don't have, look at the adults at your table. Keep your hand up, brother. Keep your hand up. Make a connection with these adults. They may not be somebody that you see on a regular basis, but they are responsible. I'm assigning them right now. I get to do that as superintendent. They are responsible in part for your success. You take one step, they'll take two. All right, that's what we're gonna do. So make a connection with these adults and don't show them how to do that. And that's we what we do. Over and over and over again. We create the climate for students to thrive. Is that, is that possible? We see it in Trayvon. Trayvon, what's your, what's your GPA right now, brother? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, brother, uh-uh. Say it, say it, what it, so what's it gonna be by the end of this quarter? By the end of this quarter? Yes. Well, well right now I got, I got all A's right now. Okay. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's the, that's the embodiment. We don't, we don't want y'all to just pass. Passing is not what we do. We thrive. We, look, we only look at B's and A's. What, 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 Brother Jones, you're, you're, the, you're raising the standard too high. I'm ridiculous. I'm the chief expectation officer. I'm the CEO. I have expectations that are ridiculously high. And that's what we need to do. So anyway, I just want to say, give a shout out. I wasn't planning on speaking, but you're hearing it raw, raw uncut. This is what we're trying to do. And thank you all adults for what you're, for what you're doing and pouring into our students. Thank you so much. Right to you, Brother King. Thank you, sir. That's how you know it's authentic when you catch them off guard. <laughs> but we always appreciate Superintendent being in the space and, and sharing his thoughts um, with us. Um, thank you, Nat. She's on it already. So I do want to want to introduce our team, and this will be real quick. I'm just going to have them stand and raise their hand. I'm going to start with our facilitators. Charles Parker, please stand. Yep. And just stay standing. I, I like participation. All right. So y'all don't want to clap too much? All right. We got, when I say we, you say show up. We? Show up. Okay. Check this out. When I introduce people and I say, Charles Parker, stand up, you say, hey, hey, Charles. All right. Well, let's try it again. Charles Parker, please stand up. All right, there you go, there you go, all right. Uh, next facilitator is Dante Neal, please stand up. What we say? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Brother Keenan Allen. <laughs> Brother Keenan Allen. <laughs> next up is uh, Brother Cypress Richardson. Yeah. Next up is Brother Emery Walters. Yeah. And last but not least, my guy, Brother Marcus Bradford. Keep standing. All right, so now I'm going to introduce our central squad. Um, I'm going to start with the queen, Nichelle. Nichelle Page, please stand. Oh, she already in the back. All right. And then my guy, my right-hand man, Mr. Kelvin Donqua. Next up is Brother Abiyat Bagali. Yeah, you all own it, man. And then my dude who provided the music for us tonight, Brother Stephen Rochelle, where you at? Yeah. And uh, I do want to make this one. Uh, she, I consider her part of my team. She don't act like she is sometimes. But <laughs> Sister Stephanie, yeah, you, you knew it was coming, huh? <laughs> Sister Stephanie Hoptom. Come on, y'all. Hey, hey, Stephanie. And last but not least, the leader of our office, uh, the illustrious, the uh, wonderful, the fearless, <laughs> Dr. Mia Williams. <laughs> Give him a round of applause, y'all. 
You guys can sit down. Thank you. I also want to um, give a shout out to some people that's been helping to organize this. Um, Maddie, wave your hand. She's in the back. Valerie, wave your hand. She's in the back. Uh, Natalie is over here still working in the back. We'll give her a round of applause when she come out. And lastly, before we get into this, I want to just honor, um, acknowledge a couple of our most connected um, supporters, and I wouldn't even say sponsors and partners. Um, we have Amazon Future Engineer in the building. Jack, go ahead and raise your hand. I know she, Jack is one of the ones, she likes to stay in the background. She don't, she don't like to do a lot of, a lot of talking. Um, we also have Alliance for Education in the building. Please raise your hand. Right here in the front, yeah, there we go. And then we also have Seahawks Community Engagement Team in the space today. So I raise your hand, represent, appreciate it. But it's always beautiful. So the reason that I'm, I'm mentioning them is because a lot of the work that we're doing with these students and the opportunities that we are giving them come through these partnerships. And so they're a huge reason why we're even able to uh, present opportunities for our students. So y'all ready to honor these kids? Okay, so we have a we have a young brother, man. I feel bad for him too. He couldn't make it tonight. He got sick, uh, got a fever. Mom said he couldn't come. I'm sure everybody's thankful for that too. But um, what I really want to do is I want to have Steve come up. He's going to um, accept the award on his behalf. But I want Steve to just come up and, and, and just talk a little bit about why he nominated this young king. Good, e good evening, everyone. Good evening. So, uh, King of Dante Holmes, uh, let's give it. Let's give it up for him, like he is here. Uh, thank you. Um, I wanted to recognize Adante. Uh, I, I had the privilege to meet Adante when he was a seventh grader at McClure Middle School. Um, I run a boys group there, and uh, he was one of the students that showed up. He showed a lot of leadership qualities um, on time, there every day, participated. Um, I found that a lot of the other students, you know, they kind of, um, in a sense, uh, kind of looked up to him. And that was at seventh grade. So uh, Adante is in the ninth grade now. So uh, he's a ninth grader at Lincoln High School. And um, he's, still, he's still showing those qualities. He's a member of the BSU. Um, he will be speaking at the MLK event this January. Um, he's an excellent student with excellent attendance. And so for me, it was, you know, I, it was an honor to recognize him. And I'm glad we'll put this together so we can honor our kings, you know, somewhere at the beginning of the school year, not necessarily just at the end. And so, um, you know, let's give another, because this is being recorded, right? <laughs> so let's give another uh, round of applause for Adante Holmes. Uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully he will, you know, he'll see this. Um, I'm going to get the award and make sure he, he receives that. And again, his family, his mother was excited. They couldn't be here. Um, you know, he got sick. And so, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to make sure I sh pull up to Lincoln, get it, give him this award, and we're going to continue to honor him and celebrate him. So, uh, thank you. Thank you uh, on behalf of AMA and everyone else. Like a music awards, huh? <laughs> Thought he was going to bust a rap or something. Okay, so next I'm going to have Miss Nichelle Page come up. She's actually going to present for three students from the Black Student Union. I'm actually um, excited about this one because um, Nichelle has done an amazing job with the Black Student Unions across the district. <laughs> And not, not, not just even specifically with schools, but uniting them together. Um, for those of you that were part of the Black College Expo, she was a huge reason why that was so successful. And so we're just super proud of her. And I don't even know why I said that, like, you know, like you're my kid or something. But I, but I am. I just, I just love her so much. And, uh, all right. So first of all, just want to give you guys all a shout out because you came out even with the lake that is coming down out of the sky right now. So I appreciate you. Um, let's see, have, who here as adults had the opportunity to be a part of their black student union in their schools? 
Raise your hand. Okay. So you all know how important it is to unify black students, especially in spaces that are not always conducive to their success. The three um, amazingly incredible students that I'm getting ready to call up, I just want to share just a quick little something about them. Not only are they knocking it out the park in coming to school every day, showing up on time every day, um, doing their work every day, achieving their AA at the same time, coming to black student union meetings, leading. Some of them are already entrepreneurs. If you just look at their YouTube channels, you'll see that they're already business minded and making things happen. So it is so very easy for me to salute them, to honor them, and to give them their props tonight. So I'm gonna call all three of them up at the same time. And um, first, we're gonna start with our king from Rainier Beach, Iuba. Okay, are you handing him to? Okay. And next, we are going to honor Samai from Ballard High School. This, this queen right here, y'all just gonna get ready. I'm just gonna say that, just get ready. I just wanna hold your umbrella one day, okay? <laughs> and next, my girl, Yanaya Oliver. Let's sit. you as well thank you. thank you if you would please give um, our amazing achievers I'm talking about achievers I'm not even gonna tell my story but th these would be students that I would look up to and go and find in my school buildings and so other students who are here that are a little younger look for the students in your school buildings who are already making things happen they create pathways for you and make it easy they uh, provide safe spaces. Last year, we did a San Kofi event at one of the high schools that's gonna grow, and that's exactly what they did. They brought eighth graders up as a field trip to already prepare them for areas inside their school building to look for. So I just want to encourage our younger students, as you are transitioning from middle school to high school, look for your BSU. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Another round of applause just to see if y'all was paying attention we see there's five people that was listening now the rest of y'all pay attention to those five all right we no, that's what we do that's what we do say hey hey honorees hey, hey, yeah i hope y'all feel good. okay so the next person i'm gonna call up here is brother cypress richardson hey hey cypress What's up? How is everybody doing today? Uh, I'm going to just set this right here. Uh, thank you guys for being here. It's very Im imperative that we're all here to support uh, each other, not just the students that we know and whatnot. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for being here. Uh, I was telling somebody normally when I'm here, I'm arguing with the people behind me uh, that are normally behind me, but we don't got to talk about that right now. Uh, the person that we're honoring here from Cleveland today is a very special, special, special student. He is the middle brother of three boys. And you know, in a setting where it's three boys, sometimes it's tough to grow. You got one punching up on you, and then you got one punching down on you. Uh, but this young man seems to handle that all too well. Uh, whether you're his middle school facilitator, or his gym teacher, or just someone that knows this young man, you know that he is there for you, but you also know that he's there to give wisdom and give insight and show love. Uh, Stacy is one of my favorite students. He was in one of my Kingmakers classes that was, I'm gonna just say rough. And he was one of the only students that was there to talk to me um, when I was at my lower points and uh, kind of make everything that I did uh, have a purpose. So I appreciate him for that. Uh, we talk every day, we talk football a lot. It's important to him and it's important to me because uh, the conversations that we have, I know it's going to build to a future that he's going to have. 
uh, we, we, we have these conversations about football, but it's about dreaming and it's about uh, sharing our, our, our passion for stuff. And one day I hope to see him work for the Dallas Cowboys, even though that is probably one of the worst organizations that I've ever, <laughs> <laughs> I've ever, ever heard of in my life. But I can't help but feel so joyous when it comes to thinking about his future. And if the two paths kind of cross, it's going to be some kind of just really amazing event. So uh, without further ado, my guy, Stacey Fauche, please come get your award. Thank you for showing up. We appreciate you. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Fauche. Enjoy your award, brother. You want to say something? Did y'all want to say something? <laughs> you didn't want to say anything? I'm not going to make you. No, I just say thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. We? Hey, somebody's been listening. Okay. Next person I'm calling up is Brother Dante. Hey, hey, Dante. Hey, hey, Dante. How's everybody doing tonight? Um, again, thank you all for showing up for all these kids. It's um, amazing that you're all out here in attendance tonight and just for everything that you guys do for them. So also shout out to Stacy, I was his middle school facilitator, so I'm very proud of him. <laughs> um, the young king that I'm honoring tonight, I have had the privilege of teaching him since sixth grade. And when we talk about someone who has shown up, he has shown up from day one. Um, Easy, Easy Tep has just been one of my favorite students, and I've been at Mercer for six years, and that means all six of those years he's been one of my favorite students. Um, he is the most brilliant king in the room. He is someone who I call Lil Huey because he is a revolutionary. I mean, he might get up here and just you know rally all to, to, to go fight the power at this point. <laughs> but um, if you guys don't know, Easy Easy is also a member of the Mariners' hometown nine. He is an amazing baseball player, an amazing athlete. He is someone that all the Kings from sixth grade all the way to eighth grade love and respect. Someone that they seek out for advice. He is just a phenomenal human being and I'm so proud of him. I'm sad that this is my last year teaching him, but I know that he is gonna go on to bigger and better things in his life. So without further ado, Mr. Easy Tap. Hey, hey Easy. Next up, and I love the, the people that are nominated are doing the presenting and being able to speak highly to the kids. Parents, I hope you guys are feeling proud because yeah, we love your kids. I just want y'all to know that, all right? We do. Okay, next up, my guy, Brother Charles Parker. Hey, hey, Charles. Hey, 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 Charles. I need to hey, Charles. Hey, hey, Charles. Right, perfect, perfect, beautiful, beautiful. How's everybody doing tonight? All is well. Uh, I just want to start off by saying uh, we are all family here. Uh, starting off, I so I appreciate all the family showing up tonight. Uh, this young brother, man, man, when he, I met him probably, I want to say three years. I've been there at Franklin about three years now. Uh, this brother has such an insight in a, in a heartbeat of the school. Uh, I call, he's the mayor. You know, when he walks in the room, everybody's looking up to him. He'll, athlete, right? But he's a student first, second to athlete. Uh, on and off the field, he is a standout student, a leader. Uh, man, I can't, I need more time. Can I get some more time? All uh, right, about 90% of 10, 92% of 10, I want to say somewhere around there. When I'm out of the room, I'm not in school, he'll text me like, Mr. Parker, where you at? What's going on? I'm like, you all right? So he, he, he consistently checks on me as well. He makes me a better educator, a better person, a better man. Uh, and because of that, man, I, I'm, this is me being a little selfish, but I, he's a senior now, right? So I hate to see him leave me. Uh, but I know he's going uh, and he's walking in a greater purpose now and he's going to uh, do great things in life, right? Uh, style is, his style is impeccable through the roof. He is also my fashion consultant, by the way. Uh, he tells me, Mr. Parker, man, you got that, you got it on today. I'm like, what, is, I'm like, what does that mean? He said, man, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, uh, no further delay, man. I, uh, I call him E.B., everybody calls him E.B., but Ibrahima Ducare, please come on up.
I'm going to hit you off, sir. Oh, man, I appreciate you, brother. Can I, can I, get, can I get some? All right. Get my guy. All right. Beautiful. Thank you. He's not lying, man. So, case in point, EB walks in. He looks down at my shoes. He goes, that, that means my fit's all right. If, when, when EB give you the okay, you all right. You, you, you're doing all right. We? Yeah, yeah, we do. All right, so next up, uh, my right-hand man, Dr. Kelvin <laughs> Donqua. Come on up. Well, I'll say, uh, Brian never said anything about my fit today, so. Um, <clears throat> How we doing, y'all? We good? Let me not lean over like I'm tall on this. Um, I have such Yo. a great privilege of working in the Office of African American Male Achievement and interacting with some incredible students. Um, by the way, my student gonna speak, so I'm, I'm gonna try to make, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to make it short. Um, but Will and I, part of the things that we do in the Office of African American Male Achievement is we have a program called Whole Mentoring in which we introduce students to um, college and career readiness. And so what is so awesome about our uh, um, role is that anything that we do is voluntary for these students. Like we're not in the schools, we ask students to come to what we do and they show up. And the student that I'm bringing up uh, that I get to introduce is a student that just shows up every time and outside of this. I've had Teresa, people from the Seattle Seahawks community engagement team hit me up and be like, oh my gosh, this student is out doing this business incubator type whatever. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't even know what that is, but yeah, he's doing it. He does so many great things and he constantly finds ways to invest in his own education and in himself. And um, he was a part of an inaugural program through Skanska to introduce more students to careers in construction. He went on the HBCU tour that we went to. Um, this is a student that I've been kind of keeping tabs on and his grades is looking good. If I asked him what his GPA is right now, he'd say, Okay, never mind. Let me, <laughs> no, I'm playing. It is good though. It is good. This is a student that I'm, I'm so blessed to uh, be able to work with and have worked with. And yes, I, um, I'm not sad that he's graduating because one day I need to work for him, for him anyway. So uh, I want to call up Yahya Abdullah. Mike's hot. Oh, you yeah, yeah. I'm playing, I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. Appreciate you too, man. Uh, notice there's a theme from all the adults of how they're really talking about how these students are showing up for them. That's, that's why we're honoring them tonight because we want them to continue to, to show up when they take over what we're doing, right? Because we, hey, that's what we do. Okay, next to the stage. I'm going to bring up, and I love when this guy comes up and talks, because uh, he's, he's very animated and energetic, and I love to see him go. Brother Keenan Allen. <laughs> he's like, oh, me? <laughs> see? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Keenan Allen Ladd. Um, I feel very honored to see everyone in the building because one thing I always tell my students, my families, is I love to see when I have families, um, faces, adults to come in the building, not just my classroom space, but just the classroom and school environment as a whole. Um, so just seeing this is just like a good feeling overall. Um, but let me go ahead and talk about my king, man. My king, honestly, honestly, and I'm not even like embellishing this in any way, shape, or form. This student um, king I'm going to bring up to this uh, podium is a king who honestly and truly, if there was a term of a model student, which I do not like using the term model student because every student comes in different shapes and forms and you know have their um, different creative abilities and things like that, but if there was, uh, was a model student, me as a 33 year old man, I wish I was a student like this, like this king here. Um, Today during class, I, you know, I let my students know, all my classes know, yo, we're honoring one of our kings, give them a round of applause, and I told them who it was, they were like, Oh, yeah, of course. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. His name is Lloyd. Yeah. Second period. Um, but Lloyd, when I say I find I call myself the person who always makes sure I cross my T's, I dot my I's. When I say he will call me out, 
and let me know that, hey, man, you crossed your T's and dot your I's, but to make things go full circle, you might need to close that up. Mr. Allen, you need to fix that. And I'd be like, I think I got everything. I go back and double check, and, and he's right. Um, he's not only a, a good scholar or a good student, because I feel like us with this Kingmaker program is not 100,000% about the academics. That is a big and huge p uh, piece and part, but I want to make sure that you guys grow into the best adults that you guys can be. And when this king walked into my classroom at sixth grade last year, I was looking up to him like, bro, what, you, what, what class you subbing in today? And he was like, no, I'm in, I'm in sixth grade. I'm like, brother, I need a, a TA. You want to be as my teacher's assistant? Um, but honestly and truly, overall, man, not just academic, but he, in the school building, he is a silent assassin. He may not talk a lot, but he's gonna walk that walk. Um, when it comes to attendance, um, I understand that we 100,000% we 100, meet our students where they're at. Um, and this king right here, the only time of my knowledge that he missed school, missed class at all, is when he went on a Hawaii trip. And I'm like, man, that brother was out there partying, but he came back, all of his work was complete. I did not have to double quadruple check to make sure he had to get on. I didn't have to call parents, email, or nothing like that. And he even gave me a gift, which I always keep, actually on my keychain. The first day he came back, was like, hey, Mr. Allen, I got this for you. And, um, and that just really just showed me how impactful he was, um, how thoughtful he was. Um, he has no problem helping out other kings in the classroom space without even them asking. Um, if he sees someone struggling, he goes ahead and does it. Well, I'm talking about silently, though. Like, he does it. Don't say a word. He does, go, um, helps this another king and, go, and goes and does his work. Um, so he is like the, I, like I said, I hate using the, the model student, but... If there was a model student, it is Lloyd Ball. I'm telling you guys, like I'm so serious. So Lloyd Ball, please come up. I told you I'm looking up to him already. <laughs> and um, I'm outside the podium. <laughs> Here you go. Told y'all he was animated. We? Okay. Next up, the master facilitator himself. He hates when I call him that, but he's the only person here shaking his head like this. Brother Emmy Walters, come on. Hey, hey, Emmy. You know, these events are always interesting for me um, because it's, we, we talk about we show up, right? Uh, the young man that I'm about to introduce tonight, he shows up and he shows up and actually forces me to be a better teacher, right? We talk in education a lot about a good education, a good educator should be able to produce a good student. Well, this young man that I'm about to talk about, he's forced me to be a better educator. This young man has had some trauma in his life, but he still shows up to class every day. And they say that you know that you're successful when you can um, have a successor, right? And I talk to this young man a lot about when it's time for me to pass that baton on to somebody to do, to do this work, bigger, better, and stronger than me. If I had to pass it on tomorrow, I would pass it on to this young man that I'm about to introduce. Um, I don't mean to put any pressure on you, brother, but I often tell my kings, one of the biggest fears in life is the fear of public speaking, right? But if you can conquer that fear and you can learn to push past it, right, you might give somebody else the liberation to be able to push past their fears. And so that's what I'm hoping that I'm doing every day in the class for this young man. I'll give you an example. Today we were learning to tie ties, okay? This brother came to class a little bit late today, but as soon as he got in the class, he showed up. And he started doing the work and putting the work in. Once he learned how to tie his tie, he didn't just sit down and start kicking it. He started helping other brothers around him learn to tie their ties, right? Because that's when you know you're, you're, um, you're powerful, when you can help other people step into their own power. Um, I could stand up here all night and I could talk about this young man. And this is a bittersweet uh, event for me, right? Because all my kings, all my kings are special. All my kings, I want, when they leave the classroom, I want to leave them uh, better than they were when they came into the class. And I hope that that's the, the, uh, the drive for every educator, right? We want to leave people, places, and spaces better than when we found them. And I just, I know and I believe that when it's time for Mr. E to move on to whatever that next thing is in my life, that I would feel very comfortable passing the baton uh, of the Kingmaker educator on to Mr. Yusuf. Yusuf.
And Brother Yusuf, you can feel free to speak if you like. What you want to say? I really appreciate this. And I hope the other people that receive these awards feel the same. Because I feel like it's one thing to show up. And it's another thing to show out. And I feel like them giving us these teachers coming up here, saying what they had to say about us, is their way of showing appreciation for us showing out and showing up. You feel me? I ain't got nothing else. Right. Thank you, thank you. That's it. Thank you. That's the modified, modified version. <laughs> Yusuf was like, I know what's going on. No. Just let me do me. Let's see who we got. We? Brother Marcus Bradford, let's go. Yeah. How everybody doing tonight? How everybody doing? Uh, to Dr. Williams, Brother Jones, uh, good evening. Appreciate you guys coming out. Um, this guy right here, man. I can show you, but I can tell you about Dominique Private Joe Curtis. He is a natural born leader. This is a show up event. That's the theme, and that's what he do. I asked Dom, hey man, we got a, um, a, a Black College Expo this Saturday. He show up. Hey, we got an event on this date. He shows up. You know what I mean? So um, this is the exactly what you know the theme is with Dom and um don't clap yet I'm gonna call him up here because I want to show y'all something Dom come up come up here he shows up every single day to class he could finish my sentences watch this real men show up uh what about this one right here um what's another one uh you can finish my sentence, bro. Uh, what is another? Uh, oh, yeah, no, no, he does. Hey, Dom basically teach my class. I promise he can. He do. He he can. He can teach my class. But Dom, I taught you a lot of lessons, right? But this is the lesson I want to teach you right now. Put God first. All right. What you gonna be when you grow up? Tell me what you gonna be. I want to be a pilot. Come right here, man. Take a picture. You're the man, dog. My God. You want to say something else? Okay. Hey, look, you want to say something else? Um, I just want to say thank you for Bradford for, um, so, like, I'll tell you a story. <laughs> so, in sixth grade, I used to be, like, a little, a class clown, and then, um, like, right when I got into Bradford's class, I saw all the opportunities that he could give me. Um, I kind of, like, changed. Like, I turned into, I used to, so I said I used to be a class clown. Once I got into seventh grade, I started to become, develop more into, like, a leader. So I just want to say thank you, Bradford, for transforming me. Hey, Dom, I think I'll speak for Brother Bradford when I say, bro, you transformed yourself. All you needed was just the tools to do it. All you needed was the tools to do it. Okay, I'm going to do this last one. I'm actually excited about this one because I just found out today that this person don't even know that they're getting recognized. <laughs> So we have what we call crowning ceremonies at the end of the year. And that's when, that's our big event. 
and that's when we recognize all of the kings in our kingmaker programs across all of our our sites. Uh, the first time that I w ever saw this uh, this gentleman in action was at our first crown of ceremony, and the thing that stood out to me about him was just his fearlessness to get the mic and talk. There was so much confidence. Which, and the reason that was important to me was because whatever he was learning, whatever the engagement was that was happening in his class, it empowered him. It empowered him to show and walk in his truth. He didn't care what nobody thought. He didn't care what nobody thought about what he had to say. He was going to speak his truth, and he spoke it with a lot of confidence. And I started seeing him, and I was smiling when I saw him. And so I started watching him over the years ever since then. And he would come to other engagements. And when he would come to engagements, he'd walk up and, you know, he, he just got that, I'm in, the, I'm in the room, man. Do you see me? <laughs> he just had that about him. Give me some dap and some love. Um, we did an event one time, Brother Kelvin and I, um, in collaboration with, with PacSci and with Amazon FE. And the theme was Representation Matters. And he was actually there as a guest. Um, and I talked to his mom afterwards, and she said, she was like, I, I really want to thank you for what you guys did. And she said, because when I looked over at him on the drive home, he was writing in his book, and I, and I asked him what he was writing, and he was writing down, representation matters. How you show up matters. How people show up for you matters, right? So without further ado, I want to bring to the stage this is exciting. <laughs> Brother Isaiah Shaw. Let's go. <laughs> you stay fly. Uh, Brother Isaiah, before we present you and take pictures, you want to say anything? <laughs> Get out the way, Mr. King. Get out the way. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's on. Um, I just want to say thank you for this great opportunity for me to be in Kingmakers, and um, thank you very much for helping me evolve mm. into a young black, into a young black man. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. Um, I need y'all to be patient with me just really quick f for photo op reasons. I want to make sure we have everybody up here. So if we can just get the big group picture going. Um, all the, pre the, the presenters, please come up too as well. Yep. The back row stands up. The front row, y'all can stay seated. No, y'all good. You can stay seated. Yeah, you're good. Isaiah, you stand up. Dom, you stand up too. At front row, y'all stay seated. Beautiful, thank you. Give them all a round of applause, please. <laughs> Students, you can return to your families. Thank you so much. We appreciate y'all. <laughs> Everybody have a seat, please. We do have one more thing that we would like to do and present. Um, I'm going to bring somebody to the stage to do that. Sister Shasta, please come on up. Hey, hey, Shasta. Thank you, Will. How's everybody doing? Good. So excited to celebrate these students today. Everyone is so wonderful. I see one of my change makers. Um, and also one of our game changers here, Dom. Um, super excited to be here with you guys, Seattle Public Schools. Um, here at the Seahawks, we really want to highlight an NFL initiative that we have made our own and fully embraced in the past few years. This initiative is called Inspire Change. It is the NFL social justice initiative, really, that formed around 2017. 
added Colin Kaepernick and taking a knee and also 2020 with the resurgence of a lot of social unrest in our country, the league really took a stand to promote advocacy and social justice awareness through four major pillars economic advancement, education, police community, re police community relations, and criminal justice reform. And with that being said, I would love to call to the stage Mario Bailey, the Vice President of Community Engagement at the Seattle Seahawks, to announce how we will be inspiring change at the Seahawks, with this being our first kickoff to that initiative. Without further ado, Mario Bailey. Thank you, Shasa. They made me put on this hat. I'm not trying to be disrespectful in there. And I, I have to wear my glasses because I can't see you without it. But um, I didn't prepare a speech because I wanted it to come straight from my heart. Uh, we're going to talk about Dr. Mia Williams. Like, she doesn't like me to say it. Uh, she changed my life. She kind of saved my life. I've known her for... You know, I'm not going to say how many years I've known her. That, that'll that tell on me and her. But um, I've known her for a very long time. I happened to do a um, field trip, and she was actually a teacher. And I remember going into her classroom and thinking about how all these kids just love her. I was like, man, these kids are like, she's like the mother. She's the caretaker. She's the auntie. She's the best friend. She did a little bit of everything. And in my journey, I had a time where I needed to figure out what I needed to do for work. And um, Mia and Mr. Clark over here were at um, Denny Middle School, and she was the vice principal. Mr. Clark was the principal. They got me in there as a, a long-term sub. And again, I got to see Miss Williams as doing everything. Like, all the kids loved her, but it wasn't just the kids who she called her babies. It was the staff, too. Like, all the staff loved her. I'd see kids hanging out in her office all the time. She'd be there before I got there, and she'd be there well after I left. And she just, everybody loved her, her energy. I thought she was going to hold it against me because I dated her friend for a while. <laughs> it wasn't the greatest of things, but she didn't. She, she, <laughs> she still continuously took care of me and made sure I was all right. Whenever there was an extra opportunity or extra hours, she made sure that I got it. Um, she ended up getting to be a principal at Aki. And as much as I love Mr. Clark, she said, you're coming with me. I said, let's go. And we got to Aki and I got to see the same thing. It's just not her babies. The kids love her and adore her and she's taking care of them. And she's the principal but she's taking care of them like she's their, uh, their mother and they love her as such. But it was the staff too. Like there's many of staff that she uh, got to be administrators, got on, helped them with their lives. She was always checking on me. She made sure I had a job. Um, she took great, great care of me. I, could, I need to get my phone to look at all the awards she won. She won the middle school uh, principal of the year. She, uh, yep, yep. <laughs> She got another award that Michelle Obama got, I'm sorry, I don't know the name, the African American uh, Achievement, um, whole mentoring, king makers, everything. So um, I ended up leaving Aki, had to, had to leave the nest, and <laughs> but she always checked on me and I got to see from a bird's eye view of what she was doing with her staff and what she was doing with her students. She's always been a loving, taking care of people person. Like in my life, I look at people, of uh, how they treat other people and what they do to give back. She is one of the number one people in my life that I've seen is like an angel on earth that gives, gives, gives. And she can be tired, she can be aching, she can still have to go home to her family, but she's gonna give her last effort to make sure that you're secure and all right. And even though I was doing well and started doing better, she always made sure she checked on me. She was always first on my references. Um, I heard a young man say something about transform, uh, and Will said, you, 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 couldn't, you, could, you could do it on your own. I couldn't have done it on my own. She, um, I'm now the vice president of community engagement for the Seattle Seahawks, but without her, like I couldn't have made it. I, I was 
lost and she checked on me. She made sure I had a job. She made sure I was okay, but it's just not me. Like when I see Will and I know Will works with Mia, I know she grabbed him too, Kelvin too. Most of these people in here, and it's not like it's a, um, a part-time thing. It's a forever thing. I know I can call her at any time, any time of the night. She might be like, Mr. Bailey, why are you calling me at 2 in the morning? But she's going to pick up. She's going to take care of me. She's going to do whatever she can. And that's the most wonderful thing. And I love you for it. I'm not going to get up here and cry. I'm sweating with this hat on, though. Uh, I'm just not going to cry. But inside, I'm crying for how much you've done for me and changed my life. And I know it's just not me. So I call you what we call an angel on earth. And thank you so much, Dr. Mia Williams. Uh, we're not done, though. And with that, from the Seattle Seahawks, we would like to present our 2023 Inspire Change Changemaker Award to Dr. Mia Williams. <laughs> Thank you. So we have our jersey for. And my best friend, oh, you want to, this? Got some inspired change Some gear. inspired change gear. You can have this hat if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have a $10,000 check for Dr. Williams to donate to a charity of her choice. Speech, speech. <laughs> Y'all know it's about the babies, so I don't really want to stay up for long, but I'm so glad to see each of you, and it really is about um, the babies who have given me all of, showing up for me all these years and helped me be able to pour into others. And I just want to thank you all, and thank you all the families and community and to the Seahawks, thank you so much. And just seeing, all, I was like, Will, what are you doing? <laughs> And I just want to thank Will for setting this up, but I really don't want to say too much, but thank you. Um, you guys are all amazing. Our partners, everybody that's helpful to make sure that our babies get the things that they need to be able to thrive. And that's all I want to say. They're, the best award is that, when they get to be their best selves. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This is our kickoff for the NFL Inspire Change Initiative for the Seahawks. Super excited to honor our Inspire Change Changemaker for 2023, Dr. Mia Williams. And with that being said, I'll kick it back to Will. Another round of applause, y'all. We. I didn't hear you. We. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I'm trying to thank you all so much. I just want to thank all the families for showing up. It was raining. Five o'clock is a tough time, too. Some folks had to get off work early. You had to get in some traffic. And I know you got a lot of things going on. But the fact that you're here means that you believe when we say we, that's what we do. All right. Y'all yeah, now free to move about the country, man. <laughs> 